every path or system of self-discovery or self-improvement has an important component where a person will need to learn how to exercise more control over their mind. Yeah, it is impossible to experience lasting happiness unless we understand that we are separate from our mind and that we should not be blindly following all the demands and desires that arise in the mind. Now we know that this message is not very popular in this day and age. Society at large is promoting the idea that we should just follow our mind and our senses all the time. But if we observe what is happening in the world and we are a little bit honest, we can see that this idea that everyone just follows everything that pops up in their mind has not worked very well. We can also see that we're not the mind yeah, when we're trying to control the mind, when you're trying to change what the mind is focusing on. You might be studying for an exam or an assignment or research a particular subject matter, but it doesn't want to be one pointed on what you want to do. Yeah? And so I have to bring the mind back to the task that I need to complete now. Yeah? Who is this person trying to control the mind? So if a person is regularly practicing mindfulness and meditation, they will be able to make better choices in life because they do not act impulsively. A mindful person will carefully consider how any actions and choices affect their future and how they affect other living beings. We have this consequential thinking. If I do this, what is the impact? To really make meaningful progress on this journey of self-discovery, we have to follow a process of purification, spiritual practices. So otherwise our consciousness, our heart will not really change significantly. It takes some effort, some regular effort, some regular practices.